At 5.30, a crash and dash caught on camera early this morning, this out of Miami. The surveillance video shows that driver and a passenger running off after slamming right through that home. And we're now hearing from a relative of the women who were inside that home at the time. Local 10's Leanne Woody Hong is live with more on this. Leanne. Not just the relatives, but a, one of those women who was actually inside when all of this happened. Incredibly, the sound of the crash didn't wake the women inside up, but you can see how much damage was left behind. And now Miami police are trying to find whoever was behind the wheel. Surveillance video shows an SUV barreling into the front yard of a Miami home. Moments later, two people are seen running away. They left behind this mess at a home on Northwest 32nd Street and 13th Avenue, and now police are searching for the people responsible. I was in charge because I thought my grandmother was in you and my aunt was in you. That was my reaction. Osmani Mesle says his aunt and 81 year old grandmother live inside this home. The two women were still sleeping early this morning when the car crashed through. Maria Elena Martinez says she had no idea what happened until a neighbor called. Me asomo. She says when she looked outside, she saw all of this. Oh, they said that uh, they were sleeping in some neighborhood car, then that the car was inside the house. When she, when she came out, she saw the car inside. The SUV never actually came through the home, but did badly damage the front entry, took out some trees, and tore up the fence. Lo primero que pensé fue, dije, Ay, mi mama. Elvira Martinez says the first thing she thought of when she found out was her elderly mother, but thankfully no one inside the home was hurt. Now she says they're having trouble getting insurance to pay for all of this. Ain't you are no good. And what's more, Miami police are still looking for the person who was behind the wheel and that second person seen running away from the scene on video. If you have any information on this crash, you should call them right away. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.